हाई एवरी वन दिस इज सोम वेलकम बैक टू अंदर वीडियो इन माई चैनल आज की वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं द टॉप थिंग्स दैट आई मिस अबाउट बींग सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर जिन जिनको नहीं पता है राइट नाउ आई एम वर्किंग एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट मैनेजर और एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर इन एमेजॉन एंड आई हैव बीन वर्किंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर रोल फॉर एट लीस्ट द लास्ट नाइन एंड हाफ मंथ्स आई हैव रिलिंग ऑल ऑफ माई ड्यूटीज एज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर और लास्ट नाइन मंथ से मैं इसी रोल में वर्क कर रहा हूं देर आर अराउंड एट पीपल हु आर रिपोर्टिंग टू मी एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम इस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो के द्वारा आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू गाइस ऑल यू नीड टू नो अबाउट सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर एज अ करियर सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट मैनेजर एंड इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर एज अ करियर एंड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आई मिस अबाउट बींग सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर सो दैट यू can choose wisely so if you're someone who is interested to know more about these things then do stick around till the end of the video it will definitely be a worth watch before starting i must say the like target of this video is 1.5000 likes so go ahead and smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already and share this video among your friends and peers it will definitely help the channel a lot now without further ado let's get started in amazon whenever you tend to take these decisions where you want to switch your role from let's say being an individual contributor at an sde a software engineer to becoming an engineering manager definitely a lot of emphasis is given into understanding that decision and aapko bola jata hai ki aap proper research kare and understand whether or not this is a perfect fit for you jiske karan mein bahut sare logo se aap interact bhi karte ho aur usse ye samajhte bhi ho ki wo kya kya cheeze miss karte hain being a software engineer kya kya cheeze wo miss karte hain being a software development manager un logo se bhi interact karte ho jo ki pehle engineer the fir manager bane fir wapas engineer ban gaye and a lot more people and in this particular video itself i have decided to give you my experience across the board and tell you about all of those things that i do miss about being a software engineer so that you get a good and a true picture of the role as well as its growth so first things first the major thing that you will not be doing or you will be doing very less as a software development manager in comparison to a software engineer is coding coding is generally a bread and butter for a software engineer however in the case of a software development manager that's not the case in most of the tech companies most of the engineering managers will not be responsible for developing the product hands on you might be involved in code reviews you might be involved in design reviews but developing the product coding it debugging issues is something that will not come under your roles in some of the companies however there might be you know some expectation out of a manager to code however in most of them that's not the case as a result this is probably the major thing if you are a techie by heart which i am you will definitely miss Now this leads to our next point as an engineer you will have a lot of clarity as to what all things you need to work on in this sprint now sprint is basically a two week work cycle that is generally followed across the industry across different companies so as an engineer you definitely have a plan and you exactly know ki kya kya cheez aapko karni hai but as a manager detailing such kind of a plan for a sprint is almost next to impossible because you daily face different challenges different problems and different things that you deal with on a day to day basis not only this because of the said plan as an engineer you can take holidays as well given that it is within the plan that is present however as a manager taking holidays itself does not actually end up helping you because you have so many things to do at a given deadline all across the year that you ultimately end up working for those as well even if you take those holidays which leads to my next point as an engineer generally you will be doing one task you will be working in a single project or maybe two projects at a time hence you have almost minimal context switching between different roles ha abhi agar aap on call mein kaam kar rahe hain jahan pe aap production support de rahe hain aur udhar bahut sare problems aa rahe hain to aapko bar 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 context switching karni padegi bar 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 apne वर्क के फोकस को चेंज करना पड़ेगा बट जनरली इफ यू आर नॉट ऑन कॉल एंड यू आर वर्किंग ऑन अ प्रोजेक्ट दैट्स नॉट द केस हाउ एवर एज एन इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग इज योर ब्रेड एंड बटर क्योंकि आप एक दिन में ऐसे हजारों अलग अलग प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इश्यूज के साथ डील करेंगे जिसको आपको सॉल्व करना पड़ेगा जिसको आपको एड्रेस करना पड़ेगा ऐसे अलग अलग चीजों पे आप काम करेंगे बोथ प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर कि आपको कॉन्टेक्ट स्विच करना बहुत अच्छे से आना चाहिए एंड दैट समाइम्स कैन बिकम a lot to take it which was not the case when i was an engineer ab iske sath sath aa jata hai responsibility ke bare mein as an engineer i was responsible for my own performance but as an engineering manager 
you are not responsible for your own performance alone. Your entire team is also responsible for your own performance. So you need to be able to inspire your team to work such that your performance does not get impacted. So your performance is not only judged by the things that you are doing, but is also judged by the things that your team is doing. Hence, many a times that is not under your direct control. But as an engineer, you have your own performance almost always under your control, which gives a lot of mental peace. Now, responsibility is two dhari talwar. Hai. Jaise ki aapke team ki performance, aapke performance se linked hai, vaise hi you are also responsible to make your team, to grow your team and to probably manage the low performance in your team as well. Which is again a very, very, very serious responsibility which you, de you do not need to take as an individual contributor. Jo bhi engineers who are reporting to you, aap responsible hote ho, unko grow karne ke liye, to usi hisaab se aapko kaam bhi unko dena parega, usi hisaab se aapko kaam leke bhi aana parega, aapke team ke liye, taaki jo jo bhi achha perform kar rahe, unko aap next level pe grow kar sake, unka promotion karwa sake. Aapko not only this, you will also have to fight for your team, which is a very, very big responsibility. However, this is a responsibility that I love to take. And this again leads me to my next point that as an engineering manager, sometimes you need to be the bad guy in the team. You need to tell people, confront people and show them the true picture as to if they are performing well, if they are not performing well, what all things you need to do, you need to be very honest with the team and sometimes you become the bad guy there in order to balance the team's expectations as well as business expectations but that is something that you will be doing on a daily basis however as a software engineer right this is not the case you don't have to deal with these hard questions you don't have to ask these hard questions to people directly you pretty much as an engineer get to be yourself work on the things that you like to work mostly and be done with it. But as an engineering manager, that's far from reality. To be honest, as I have been it's my duty to give you a very honest feedback of all of the things that I have experienced in this last nine months. But it's not that I'm just missing all the things that I'm doing and something that I'm not feeling good. It's not that I'm feeling good. 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 I'm feeling increases quite a lot which will was not the case when i was an engineer as a result kya generally hota hai is that as soon as you get to interact more with people in the leadership group the chances of your growth also increases exponentially hence you will see people growing a lot more in this ladder of manager rather than in the ladder of a software engineer or an individual contributor all in all i would say that this decision you need to think through quite a lot. Do not forget to watch all of my videos on this engineering manager series that I have made. I'll link them in the description below or in the cart above. I'm sure all of these videos will help you make those decisions for you. I really hope that I was able to give you a clear picture of all of those things that I felt that I missed being an engineering manager right now. Do comment down below what more different kinds of videos you would want me to make. I will definitely make them. The like target of this video is 1.5,000 likes. So go ahead and smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hit the notification bell and share this video among your friends and peers. It will definitely help the channel a lot. This is your host, Swamijit, bidding goodbye. Das Vidanya.